Hello, my name is Wei Hong Xu, and I'm a graduate student at Arizona State University. Today, I'll be talking about nanoscale patterning of carbon nanotubes in polyacrylate nitrile fibers. Uh, first, a brief introduction to polymer nanoparticle composites, also known as PNCs. Uh, they have a, a wide variety of applications across different fields, such as energy storage system, motion sensing, and mechanical reinforcement. Um, nevertheless, most of these uh, composites are uh, fabricated based on uh, direct mixing or coating the polymer with functional uh, nanoparticles. So what's missing here is the scalable method for complex PNC structures uh, with enhanced performances. In this work, we developed a scalable method for hierarchically structured fiber PNCs by combining the force assembly and dredged wet fiber spinning processes. Um, we have two different types of material. Layer one is polyacrylate nitrile, layer two is polyacrylate nitrile carbon nanotube. So as the, these two materials first enter the force assembly process uh, side by side, they were cut horizontally and rearranged vertically so that two layers entering would become a four layers exiting. And by the same way, uh, if we add more and more multipliers, the two layers would eventually turn out to be 512 layers. And as they exit the multiplier process into a coagulation and through drawing, eventually we obtain this alternating layers fiber. Uh, here's an example during the fabrication process. So here is the multiplier spinneret. Here's the spinning dope exiting the spinneret uh, where the transparent layer indicates the pen uh, spinning dope and the black one indicates CNT pen. And the spinning dope showed a high stability across um, over five hours and the high viscosity limited CNT diffusion. Also, we matched the viscosity between the CNT and pen layer to obtain uniform uh, layer thickness. And after drawing the fiber above its glass transition temperature, we further saw a decrease in the layer thickness, eventually reaching to 170 nanometer for the 112 layers fiber. And also we saw a decrease in the cluster size, also an increase in the first nearest neighbors, uh, both indicating uh, less particle aggregation and more uniform dispersion. Also for the D-phase fiber where there was no layer morphology, non-uniform end clusters were both observed. So a direct result of the layered fiber is that the 512 layered fiber showed increase in modulus and strength comparing to D-phase fiber at the same carbon nanotube loading. So as layer thickness decreased, um, beyond the length of carbon nanotube, we observed this increased trend in mechanical properties. And we also used dynamic mechanical analysis to show um, the interfaces between the, uh, each layer. At room temperature, 512 layer showed the lowest 10 delta, meaning that it's, uh, the polymer chains has the lowest mobility. But at temperature beyond its glass transition temperature, the 512 layer showed higher uh, energy absorbance, and we further dissected into uh, the 10 delta into system and interface, and we observed that 512 layers with more inter uh, with more layers uh, have a more uh, interface. So uh, here is the uh, fracture surface of the fibers after DMA. Uh, we observed that the fiber width is uh, was correl was correlated with layer thickness. Um, and we suspected that there is a shear generated during this oscillation above glass transition temperature. And we use polarized Raman to show that um, it's because, the, because of this shear, this carbon nanotube at the interface has a better alignment comparing to the carbon nanotube inside each layer. And we further compare the 512 layered fiber with D phase fiber, and we see an increase in the overall alignment of the fiber. So uh, with higher layer number uh, resulting more interface, uh, we obtained better CNT alignment. And last, I would like to thank our group and the uh, founding sources. Thank you.